So listen. No, seriously, the Young Adult Choir, we, have a, we had a plan. There's a plan. Sit, sit down. Okay. Sit down. Sit down. So there's a plan. And the plan was to give, pay homage to, 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 the, to the ancestors that brought us over. To pay homage to it. I was talking to the Young Adult Choir this week about the fact that this is Black History Month. When I was a child, we focused on it. We studied it in school. The whole curriculum would change for, for, for 28 days and we would learn about Harriet Tubman, learn about Martin Luther King and Medgar Evers. We would learn what was going on in our culture. We would learn about the songs that our ancestors would sing that brought us over. Spirituals like Steal Away and wade in the water. And while they didn't have biblical proportions necessarily, they would give our people what they needed to keep going, to keep striving, to not give up, and to survive through the most difficult times in our culture and in our history. I thought about it once again. We're faced with adversity that our people have seen before. When we were talking about it, I realized by taking a poll that some of our members didn't even know lift every voice and sing. Tell earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling seas. It's the sound that brought our people over. It's the sound that made us triumph through adversity. So this morning, to celebrate Black History Month, to celebrate the songs and the sound that our people would sing that brought us over. We decided to take you back in sound and in time to a place where the songs weren't as complex, but the message was emotional. It was strong and it would get our people through. So this morning we're gonna take y'all back if that's all right, to a song, to a sound that reminds us that Jesus is a rock in a weary land. Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a weary land, a weary land. In a weary land, he's a shelter in the time of storm. Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a weary
when you were down. Has he ever placed your feet on solid ground? And you know he is a rogue.